Hi future nurses, welcome back to Step Into Your Dream. Today we are starting part one of a two-part series on tuberculosis or TB. In this video, we will cover what TB is, the difference between latent and active TB, and important airborne precautions every nurse needs to know. Be sure to watch part two, where we will dive into ripe therapy, patient education, and in clicks review questions to help you master TB care and exam prep. First, let's understand what TB is. TB is an infectious disease caused by mycobacterium tuberculosis, usually affecting the lungs, but it can also affect other organs. TB spreads through airborne droplets when someone coughs sneezes, or talks. There are two main types of TB. One, latent TB, which in this case, the person is infected but doesn't show symptoms and is not contagious. And two, active TB, in this case, the person is sick, shows symptoms, and can spread TB to others. Always distinguish latent versus active TB. Latent TB doesn't require isolation active TB does. Since TB spreads through the air, airborne precautions are crucial in healthcare settings. Here is what you need to know. Number one, place the patient in a negative pressure room. As you guys know, a negative pressure room is a specially designed hospital room where the air pressure inside is lower than the outside. Why? This prevents airborne pathogens like TB bacteria from escaping the room. Air flows into the room, not out, which is going to keep other patients and staff safe. Always remember to check that the airflow is functioning. There should be a negative pressure indicator outside the room. Doors should remain closed except when entering or leaving. 2. Wear a fit-tested N95 respirator. An N95 respirator is a mask that filters out at least 95% of airborne particles, including TB bacteria, and the proper fit ensures no air leaks around the mask. Nurses must undergo fit testing before caring for TB patients, and always perform a seal check before entering the room. 3. Limit patient movement outside the room if necessary. Ask them to wear a surgical mask. Patient with active TB should stay in their negative pressure room as much as possible. If they must leave for testing, they should wear a surgical mask to protect others. Surgical masks do not protect the person who wears it. Remember this, it's protecting other people. Because remember, TB spreads through airborne droplets, so limiting movement and covering the mouth reduce risk to others. Always remember to educate the patient on why this is important. Number four, visitors should be screened and educated on precautions. Visitors entering the room may also be exposed to TB. Screening ensures immunocompromised or high-risk individuals do not enter the room. Education ensures visitors know how to wear masks, limit time in the room, and practice hand hygiene. Thanks for watching part one of our TB series. I hope you now have a solid understanding of what TB is, the difference between latent and active TB, and airborne precautions. Stay tuned for part two, where we will cover ripe therapy, patient education, and review sample questions to prep you for your NCLEX exam. Do not forget to like, subscribe, and comment here if you want more nursing school and NCLEX prep content. Until next time, keep learning and keep dreaming.